I was aware that I was losing my hearing. By the time I got into my 60s, it really started to go downhill. And the hardest part was that constant, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that, or I knew I was coming up with the wrong answers. When my grandma started to lose her hearing, it was very difficult to talk to her on the phone. And at the time, she was in really familiar with computers, so we couldn't email very much. So we kind of lost contact, actually, for a while. When I met Suzanne, she was very, very hard of hearing. So it really impacted uh, the things that we were able to do. We'd go to a dinner party, and she would come away and not have hardly any knowledge whatsoever about the conversations that were had. She would simply be a spectator. She became very good at reading lips, but she would have to be directly looking at her for her to know what you were saying. I was so afraid of, of saying the wrong thing, and so I became quiet. I felt like a wallflower. After a while, you, you began to see yourself in that light, and that wasn't healthy for me, and I knew it. But it was getting worse and worse. I remember one morning I got up and I asked my husband, Jack, this hearing aid isn't working. She went in for a, a, a hearing test and it turned out that uh, the, her hearing in her left ear had absolutely gone to zero. I'd kind of heard about cochlear implants, but I really didn't know very much about them. I didn't know how that worked. And because of my age, I didn't know how that would be. Most people are somewhat apprehensive. They don't know what to expect. They're stealing themselves, bracing themselves for the possibility that it isn't that great. They're afraid to hope too much. But Suzanne was totally hopeful. The moment we told her she was a candidate, she was elated. I didn't have fear because my fear and pain of not hearing I knew would not compare anything to a surgery that was only going to take an hour and a half, two hours. The surgery is, is actually the easiest part of this process now. It's day surgery. They come in, have it done, go home the same day, uh, bandage on overnight. We hook up the device now at about two weeks. I have to say that it wasn't near as bad as when I had my wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> this little bit of pain, I knew would end. And I knew when it ended, I was going to be on a journey to hearing. After the surgery, I was sitting in my audiologist's office and she had to program me. And all of a sudden, there was so much noise and she had warned me that there would be static and all these kind of strange sounds. But when I walked out of there, even though I didn't know what all the sounds were, it was unbelievable to me. One of the first things that I noticed was the crickets. When we were first dating, Jack would say, do you hear the crickets? And I'd smile and go, well, I didn't hear the crickets. I just was faking it. But now I can hear them. It was just like night and day. She was able to hear things that formerly she just flat out could not hear. I mean, I even had to clean up my language. What is that? Well, it's a wild rose. See the thorns? Uh-huh. It was like coming out of a cocoon. And now I could actually go to an opera. I could go to a movie now. I could go to a play. I'm so glad we're out today, because I love to sit in these little sidewalk cafes. We never get to do that. We're the cochlear implant has truly, truly changed my life. Jack, do you want me to do all of them? Yes. When Jack and I are working in the kitchen together, I don't have to turn around and look at his lips and sometimes have him repeat it. But do you want them small, or you just want them? Just sliced. Just just sliced, okay. Yeah, just like that. Okay, that's yeah, right. That's yeah. fine. I almost always get it right from the get-go. <laughs> Interestingly enough, fish do like kernel corn. They do? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh.
at a dinner party, if someone speaks to me and I don't see them. It was with sticks and string and Ooh. paper clips. <laughs> I can hear them without looking at them. And that is completely amazing after reading lips for so many years. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of fish. Yeah. It was a huge transformation between meeting the deaf Suzanne and knowing the Suzanne that I know today. Oh, it's so pretty out of this time. Yes, it is. Yeah. It has made a world of difference in our relationship and particularly the way she looks at herself. So while you're planting these, um, do you want me yeah. to get any other Why don't pots? you go up and pick another pot okay. up there? He saw me begin to blossom and bloom again and become a woman who said more yes than no because I wasn't afraid of things anymore because I knew I could go and do them. Oh, you do something to after my implant, I found myself singing more. Else can do. When I'm riding along the car, I start singing, and I can tell I'm on pitch. I can tell when I'm off pitch. And it doesn't even matter because the freedom to be able to sing again. On the hill. It was like I had my old grandma back. She's just so full of life and so much fun and so much energy. Three. Blue, my favorite color. Okay. When I got my implant, right away, I was upgraded to this Nucleus no. 5. Oh, no! Nice. Right. What do I get? And I thought, well, that's going to take a long time. But it wasn't a long time. They got it to me as quickly as they could. And it was a lot more comfortable. It was smaller, more streamlined. And also, all of the tones that I was hearing were much more clear. And I had a remote control that came with it and I can put it into different programs. You don't have to do it up at your ear. The remote comes with the System 5. It's allowed some people, especially my elderly patients, to be able to manipulate volume and change programs in a way they couldn't do when they had the Freedom Processor. This is the, the key to menu. Okay. Now I'm able to be in a noisy situation and actually hear the person that's right in front of me. And I don't have to read lips anymore. I love that. Yeah, I got it. Oh, come on, girl. Yeah. Yeah. When I got my Nucleus 5 sound processor, I found out it was water resistant. I drag it. Catch the frog. Hockey sack. Before I got my implant. I always had to take my hearing aids out so I could never hear the instructor. But with my new processor, I can go back to water aerobics and not have to worry. Pick it up. For the first time in so many years, I feel like I am Suzanne. I am that person that I had once been, but now I'm just an older and wiser and better hearing version of that person. I, I'm doing great. You know, we, we've just got so much going on right now. And um, here I was going around a long time in the dark. And I guess I just didn't realize what these things were really all about and what they would mean to me, how it would change my life. The only thing I would have done different is having it sooner.